with Ninja Training TV. Today we're going to go over a few concepts on gun disarms. So the first one we're going to do is a gun to the back. What you always want to do is use vocal commands at first, even for a distraction and to buy yourself some time. So as soon as the gun comes up to my back, I don't know what kind of gun it is. I don't know if he has his uh, finger on the trigger. I don't know how serious he is, so I just talk to him. I put my hands up. My hands go up for a strategic reason. If my hands are down and I'm going to try to do a move, I have to already move them and bring them up again. So if I'm here, it looks like I'm in the surrender position. Hey, hey buddy, what do you want? Now I'm looking as I ask him that question to see, is the finger on the trigger? Maybe I turn the other way. Hey, I'm really scared. Please, please, take it easy, take it easy. Now, I'm also feeling with my back, if he put it in the middle of my back, or if he put it to one side of my back, or the other side of my back. So let's say he put it all the way over on the right side of my back. If I'm going to turn, I want to turn that way. Let's do, see if we can get a little more angle so they can see the, this, like just there. Can you see that? So I'm, he's all the way to my right now. If I turn this way, the muzzle comes off of my center line, and if a round goes off, it's going to shoot next to me. If I'm here, and it's to the right side, and I turn this way, he's got all that body time. He's shooting through me, shooting through me, shooting through me. Now it's finally off. So you have to strategically think which way am I going to take less of a bullet if I turn. So if it's on the right side, I turn to the left. My hands are already up. Check this out. I get a wrap. I can start to control the next round going off and then do some type of a maneuver, take him, subdue him, and then try and secure the weapon. I always want to be care of muscle discipline. Muscle discipline is huge because I might have a crowd around me of people that I love, care about, and I don't want to sweep them because if his finger's on the trigger, he could be shooting them. So maybe I've got to think about this aiming up. Or if I can, maybe think about aiming it down. It might be in a safe direction then. So these are a couple little things for you to think about. As that comes up, I'm feeling, my hand comes up, I try to set up a dialogue, talk to the person. Then after I determine I'm gonna make my move, I make move really fast. So we've done some experiments at the shooting range with actual guns, and we have the guy stand next to us and I'm gonna to try to touch his gun before he takes the shot. So he's up in a ready position, his finger's on the trigger, and I try to grab that gun. Guess what? You can always grab it before they can even pull the trigger. It takes time for your brain to tell you to pull the trigger. So when you're actually in a confrontation, you do have a second to get offline. And depending on the type of uh, pistol that you're dealing with, you can grab it in different ways to be safe and to maybe even not have it chamber another ramp. So we've actually done these on the range and it works. So this next one here, I have the gun against my back. I've turned up, I'm gonna do Musha Dori, warrior take, then some type of a hit to the face and then take the person down on the ground and then do some pain compilation follow up here with some, some type of uh, pose and then we get to take away the weapon, aim it, break it down, secure it, make sure nobody else gets hurt. Okay, so that's one. Second one, this one happens in hostage situations a lot. You're in a kneeling position, the person's coming up, saying all sorts of crazy stuff. If you can get them to get this close without shooting you, you have a pretty good chance. If they're further away, you've got to close the distance and it creates other problems to deal with. But we're just going to go with the easy one today for you guys. It comes against your head now. The same thing with the shoulder. I have to feel if he's down towards the middle of my head or if he's up towards the top because maybe I can get off line even if this goes off, maybe I'll hurt my ears. Doesn't really matter if I have my life still. But I can also sink my head as I push up. And then I take this muzzle because I've got really good leverage here against him. I can aim this towards him. Now, if it goes off, he accidentally shoots himself. I could deal with this then, take it down, strip this out of his hand, having muscle awareness, and then ask him, you know, what's going on. Talk to him about it. So we go one more time, we'll go nice and slow. We're here, he puts it, I'm gonna try to sink, 
come forward. I spread my legs out to get a little angle here, and then I'm going to drop this down right away. We can come in with different types of takedowns, and then I'm going to step through and secure the weapon and finish the technique. So these are a few different concepts with the pistol for you to try with your class. This is Mark with NinjaTrainingTV.com. Go on our website. We have a bunch of new training videos for you guys.